difficult for us to push them out. But unfortunately, things were already arranged by him. So the reply comes from uh, Berlin that the Führer is sleeping. Again, after a couple of hours, he sent a message and the same reply. The Führer is sleeping. In the meantime, Eisenhower, the supreme commander of that entire operation, had given orders for the fleet to move from English Channel to the other side. But at that time, the sea was very rough. And the commanders of the fleet advised Eisenhower <coughs> that the English Channel is very rough. And with that condition and so many ships are sailing, there could always be problems of collision and all that. So he said, OK, leave it. Next again, he said, now start with the armada. And they said, no, the conditions in the English Channel are not favorable. On the third day, he said, irrespective of the condition of the English Channel, you will sail. And the secret code for that was called, throw the cat out. Now here at Merabad, I think, beloved Baba, <coughs> Margaret was one of his very close ones, and she had a cat. And beloved Baba told Margaret, throw the cat out. And uh, Margaret didn't, because that night it was raining very heavily and all that. Huh. Next morning, beloved Baba asked her, did you put the cat out? He said, no, Baba, it was raining very poor animal. I didn't do it. Do it tonight. Again, the conditions were not favorable, rain and all that. She didn't do it. The third night, beloved Baba caught hold of the cat by you know, scruff of it and threw it out. And the order that beloved Baba had given Margaret was the same words that was used in that secret uh, code, throw, throw the, the cat out. out. Uh -huh. And uh, Baba threw the cat out, and at that precise moment, the Armada sailed. Huh. That was it. Wow. That's surprising to hear one of the Mandali um, not obeying Baba. One of the Mandali? Oh, well, Margaret. I don't know if you call her Mandali, but... Close one. Surely he would have given her a hard time for not obeying. <laughs> what it conveys is that apparently the war was being fought in Europe and other you know, theatres, but the main control was here. Mm -hmm. The main control was over here. And that is why in the Orient a, an incarnation of God is said to be that not even a leaf of tree could move without his vision will. <coughs> but these facts came to light 50 ah. years later right. about the postponement and all that. They were all military secrets. Mm, yes. They were classified documents. So on the 50th anniversary, one Baba lover had gone to attend the function there at, at Calais or where the landing had taken place. Uh -huh. Calais ma landing thai. Ji mama. The landing no. at Calais. Yeah. No? Calais, Calais, yeah. In France. So he, he had visited that ceremony. He, he was present there. And told the story. There, these, these documents were declassified and read out. Huh. And in that, he heard the code name, throw the cat out. Throw the cat out of the bag or throw the cat out? I think, the cat. Huh? I think it was throw the cat out. Throw the cat out. And who put it all together with the story here? So after 50 years, this secret was revealed. Baba kept it under wraps till mm. then. Yeah. The same time, same hour, it was raining cats and dogs in Merabad uh, with lightning and storm mm -hmm. and very unusual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For three nights it was going on there.
Did you throw the cat out? Ni story kyo? Ah, that yet. After many years, end of the Second World War, and all this information became declassified. That's how we came to know about it. Fifty, fifty years after. Fifty years after, 1994. 1994. What happened was they declassified the information, what and uh, somebody correlated the dates with what was written in. Lord Mayor. No, Margaret. In book. Margaret's book. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So. That's how, you know, they realized what role Baba played in. Is Margaret the one that Baba gave the flower to? No, that's oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh, that's Elizabeth. That was Elizabeth. Mama. Margaret was a dancer. She, uh, yeah. yeah. I was thinking about that story the other day for some reason. That it was on the exact day. Margaret was, was from England. Ah, right. So she represented England in Baba's Asha. Ah. Ah, okay. England was the main one to send this army down. Right. Huh. No, Kaka. It was Eisenhower. It was an American. Uh, Eisenhower was the Allied commander. But the main... Margaret? Was all English, I think? UK. Yeah, yeah. All uh, the merchant marine and everybody took part. The whole not just... No, the, I know. That was a big flotilla uh, of ships. That's not D-Day, is it? Huh? It's not D-Day. It wasn't D-Day. Was it? No. No. No, no D-Day? No. D-Day was... Was when they landed in Normandy. Normandy, yeah. Yeah, wait, was it? Yeah. The biggest fleet ever assembled. The biggest fleet ever assembled. Yeah, it was D-Day. It was D-Day, I think. It was? Yeah. Because yeah, the storm and all, because... And that the, actually rings a bell. Because the storm um, and the delay in the storm sort of made some, um, uh, made it somehow better in a way, like how they won that, you know. There was, I don't know, but, there uh, was the, that, that the weather the or something, yeah. yeah. They were expecting the somebody to do it no. like yeah. so bad. But you said Margaret did not uh, follow no. Baba's orders, but even Margaret not following Baba's it's orders. Baba's order. Baba's oh, wish yeah. for Margaret mm -hmm. to be not following. Baba's yeah. order, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, there was tremendous bloodshed at that time. The German forces were there on the shore <coughs> and they were shooting away. And thousands perished in the sea. Yeah. The whole sea was covered with blood, mm. the coastal area. There's a movie they made recently, um, yeah, Saving they made Private a, Ryan. I saw yeah, that was a few years ago. It was really yeah. hellish. What was the name of it? <coughs> Saving Private Ryan. Huh? Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's very well done. Very well done. Yeah. And then they did a TV series that was really good called Band of Brothers. Yes, that was really amazing. Yeah, it was one of the best I've ever seen. Mm. About the same time. Uh, it just followed a troop through the whole campaign yeah. and I've never seen so many actors turned over like because there's so many dying they had to make it realistic so uh. every episode is like five new actors because <laughs> they're all dying yeah. Tough time. what was that battlefield we went to in Turkey Gallipoli Gallipoli yes that's where the Aussies landed. Aussies landed and a lot of them died there as well. Yeah. There's a cemetery for the Aussies. <laughs> what was that? That was my phone. <laughs> no phones in Mandalay. Aliens calling. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so Sven, do you have any oh, questions to yes, ask? What is the meaning Sven? of life? <laughs> 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 42. 42, right. Um, I'm just curious, um, how, how would you say your relationship with Bob has changed in the last, like, five, ten years? What? How would you say your relationship with Bob has changed, or how is it, you know, uh, how do you describe it after he passed away? And even, like, now, is it changed now? Is it the same all the time, like, in the last five years, say? 
His relationship with us, I have no idea. <laughs> I just keep following the same pattern. The main thing is to just love and obey Him. So we don't pay heed to our relationship, how we were. Of course, when He was physically present, He had the, the magnificent opportunity to be there. <coughs> and when we would, would sit before Him, time and again He would tell us, <coughs> this is a very rare thing that is happening to you all. You have no idea <coughs> about the great good fortune you all have to be sitting here around me. I am talking to you. I am so available. Make the most of it. This is not going to last forever. The time will come when <coughs> you all will be thirsting and I won't be available then. You all would be pushed back. So when you are here in my presence, be here. <coughs> Don't let your mind wander. Just sitting physically and allowing your mind to wander into the world, thinking about your family, thinking about your business and children and wife and husband. Let all that not disturb you. Don't let your mind dwell there. Be here. Be focused on me. But what shall I say? We were usual human frailty, you know. So mind did keep wandering sometimes. And sometimes he would suddenly ask, what are you thinking about? <laughs> So that at least made us very attentive to him. He wanted all our attention on him when we were in his presence. And to be in his presence, it's, you cannot describe that. To be in the presence of reality, personified. So that's the change. But the thing is that he says, I am never absent at all. I am the only one who is. There is not, none besides me. So what you imagine that he is not here is, is just an imagination. But how can we have that experience? It's not possible unless His grace is there. So, <clears throat> try to love Him, like try to serve Him. Make Him the focus of your life. You, you, have, to, you have to possess Him. You have to pay a price for possessing Him. What's the price? He is available in the market, but there is a price that you have to buy him to become yours. And that price is your own self. Sell yourself to him, to buy him for yourself. You follow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it should be completely focused on him. He wants us to lead our normal lives. He wants us to pay attention to our family and business, but without attachment. That you are doing it for His sake. Otherwise, what's the sense? All this is going to pass away. Your wife or your 